y'all welcome and welcome back to summertime tarot for those of you who don't know my name is summer and this here is a november 2020 reading for scorpio sun moon rising sign all right but let's go ahead and get started so let's see what the theme is for scorpio for november 2020 So we have here, in the light of the moon, a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. Okay, bottom of the deck we have here, keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. Okay, so with the, in the light of the moon, right, we are just coming out of, you know, that full moon energy um, for that that was on uh, what Halloween um, but also right um, you this is this is like you guys birth month right so I feel like for me as well I feel like for most people you know when when a birthday comes up you know things kind of they start feeling different you know you're getting you a, you're a year older um, and you're kind of starting to see things a little bit differently um, things start to come up that you haven't dealt with um, so that you can resolve it and you can move forward in a new way, right? So for the month of November, you know, it may be emotional for some of you. It may bring up some old stuff that you, you know, were put, putting on the back burner um, for you to kind of really sit with it, to understand it, so that you can move forward in a new way, um, in a freer way, right? Where you feel more connected to yourself, more connected to the divine, more understanding of yourself, and able to kind of move in a new way, in a more positive way, but right, it's going to be important for you in the month of November to, you know, allow what wants to come up to come up, to face it head on, to look at it, to inspect it, and to use what you've learned from those experiences or use you know what comes up what um messages come through for you to you know make positive changes in your life but that you're not you know continuing old stuff or um repressing things or you know sweeping things under the rug okay but let's go ahead and get into it here let's see what's going on for scorpio in November. All right. Some of you, you know, may even have like exes or, you know, past relationships kind of rearing their heads, okay, in the month of November. But let's see what's going on here. All right. So what came to my mind is, um, I, I think this comes from... Uh, Okay, I think it might be a Beatles song. I'm not sure. But I know that um, Dakota Fanning says this in I Am Sam. It's like, all you need is love, right? <laughs> all you need is love. That's kind of what came to my mind when this angel of love came out. Um, but I feel like here, starting here, we have your uh, blessing for the month. So we have here envy, okay? So... With this envy showing up for your blessing for the month, right? Some of you, you may be looking around. You may be kind of unhappy with how far you've come or how much progress you've made along your journey, along your path, within your life even. Um, and you may be kind of even comparing yourself to others, right? You may be on social media and people like, you know, getting married, having kids, doing this, doing that. And you're like, oh my goodness, you know. 
uh, what am I doing? You know, you know, I'm not as far along as I want to be, or I don't have this, I don't have that, right? But with this showing up as your blessing for the month, right? This is showing that these feelings, these thoughts that kind of come up for you this month, they may, you know, seem a little bit envious, a little bit jealous, or, you know, even kind of negative to the point where it's like, you just don't feel like you are as satisfied in life as you want to be, right? But that it's a blessing because this gives you the ability to kind of right or wrong, to change some things up, to kind of reroute, to redirect yourself, to start making some changes in your life so that you can get to where you want to go. Okay, so your blessing for the month, we have the temple path, right? With the temple path showing, I mean, not your blessing, your challenge, I'm sorry. Uh, with the temple path showing up as your challenge for the month, um, you may be kind of, like I was saying, feeling like you may not be making as much progress or feeling like you're not exactly where you want to be in life, right? Um, and that may be making it hard for you to, to really trust in yourself, to trust in where you're going, to trust in your ability to make right decisions for yourself, right? So just make sure in the month of November, that you that you know that you know it ain't over till the fat lady sings meaning you know you're not dead yet okay <laughs> right that's kind of blunt but it's the truth right you're not dead yet you can always reroute people have midlife crises all the time right you can make changes you can decide like hey you know i'm not happy and you can decide to make a change and start moving in a way that is in more alignment or that is more aligned to where it is you want to go, where you see yourself in the future, right? But you can't do that if you're in a negative energy, this envy, where you you put yourself down or you put other people down or you're angry or you're bitter, right? It has to come from like a loving space here, right? You have to embrace where you are to show yourself gentle, loving kindness where you are, right? Because otherwise it's kind of going to put you in a space where you kind of don't like yourself or you feel unable to make any changes. You feel like it's not possible and that kind of gets you down and it makes it like very hard to, to see anything positive or to see how you can get to where it is you want to get to, okay? Um, and so with your message for the month, we have the thinking woman. Yeah, so with the thinking woman showing up here as your message for the month, it's like you, you have the power here, right? But it kind of starts here with you realizing that you can change things. You can go to where it is you want to go. It's just going to start with you making some changes right you realizing that hey you know i'm not happy where i am or i don't have it, everything that i want um but once you kind of accept that you can start figuring out how to get to where it is you want to go you can start figuring out what needs to change um what you may be doing wrong or even celebrating what you what you're doing right right because you know, make sure you're celebrating yourself. Don't, you know, spend so much time in reflection, reflecting about the negative, but also spend time reflecting on what you've done good thus far, because that enables you to see how you can continue to do better and also how you can improve going forward. Okay. And then with your message for the month, angel of love, right? It's a need to kind of come from a loving space to be gentle with yourself, right? <sighs> Most people aren't where they want to be, right? <laughs> hey, man. Most people don't have everything they want. That's the truth, right? But that doesn't mean that you have to beat yourself up or it doesn't mean that you'll never have it, right? It's like needing to hear with this angel of love to be gentle with yourself, to love yourself, but also to connect with what it is that you want in a deep level, right? In, a, in your heart space. What is it that you may be feeling you're missing here, right? And I feel like some of you may be focusing on like the external, right? You may be like, oh, I need this or I have to accomplish that. But really, most of the time, um, 
when we're unhappy in our life, it's not things that can make us happy. It's it's a internal thing. It's something within you that, you know, you, you may be feeling like you're missing, right? So make sure that you're um, spending time here connecting with your heart, right? And for some, it may be that you want, you know, love you want deeper connections with people or maybe you want a relationship or maybe you want to go deeper in your spiritual path right with this temple path you may want to um spend some time connecting with the divine and getting deeper into your spiritual studies right if that's so you know make sure you're making time for that um you're making time for yourself to connect with what it is that you love um and that you're not you know focusing on what you don't have but that you're appreciating what you do have and finding ways to improve it and to grow it okay but let's go ahead and clarify Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, man, this month may be emotional for some of you, right? It may be a bit overwhelming, right? And it may, you know, be because, you know, there's some things that you're still carrying here from the past that you haven't really released, right, um, within your emotional body. Um, but here, clarifying envy, we have the nine of cups and the knight of cups, right? So I feel like, you know, you know, like I was saying, some of you may be feeling a bit unhappy or just kind of discontented or dissatisfied with life at this time, right? And you want more here. Um, but I feel like here with this Knight of Cups, right? Some of you may even have like some dreams. Um, what came to mind was, you know, a dream deferred, right? There may be some dreams or some goals that you may have kind of pushed off to the side in order to focus on, you know, like more important things at the time. So it may be beneficial for you here to kind of, um, rediscover within yourself those dreams, those desires, those things that you may have pushed off to the side um, to to spend some time connecting with those, um, following those dreams, following those paths that you kind of maybe disregarded or left unchecked or left untraveled. Um, and so with the temple path here, we have the three of wands and the five of cups for your challenge for the month. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, there may be here still some some sadness, like I was saying, from the past that you may be holding on to. And I feel like for the month of November, it's going to be important for you to give those things the attention that they need, right? In order for you to kind of fully release them, to let them go so that they're not like taking up so much space, right? Because the space that you kind of, that those things are taking up, you could better fill them with something that is, you know, in more alignment with you, that is more peaceful, more happy, more positive. But if you're, you know, not paying attention to them, it doesn't mean that they, you know, just disappear. They're still there. So just make sure that in the month of November, you make time to, you know, pay attention to those feelings, to reflect, to, you know, um, listen to your heart, right? Sometimes people, when people say listen to your heart, you know, they kind of talk about, oh, you know, dreams that you need to follow, that kind of thing. But oftentimes, you know, your heart doesn't just speak of like the things that, well, this is my opinion, but your heart doesn't just speak of um, the dreams, right? It speaks of things that you haven't fully healed, right? And sometimes, you know, your heart may be aching, right? That heartache 
um, because you're not listening to it. And so it may be time for you to sit with your heart, even the, the hurt and the dark pieces, so that you can fully heal that, you can release it. And it's not taking up so much space within your heart because your heart just kind of wants to shine here. It wants to love. It wants to kind of be more positive. It wants to kind of give love and receive love. But, you know, I feel like for some of you, it may be weighted down with so many, you know, negative feelings, so many things from the past that you still haven't really processed. You haven't really released. And it's time for you to kind of make space for yourself to sit with those emotions and to allow them to come up so that you can let them go and you can allow more positive things to take their space, okay? And so clarifying the, the thinking woman here for your message for the month, we have the sun and the page of swords. Yeah, so some of you, right, you may be focusing on, you know, like the positive here, right? Um, like, everything good that you want or whatever, you know, it may be. But just make sure, you know, that you're not kind of focusing on the positive in a way to kind of avoid the negative, right? You have to make space for them both, right? Um, but yes, totally, you know, think positive, um, think about what you want to come in, but make sure that you're making space to kind of um, release and to let go of the stuff that may be weighing on you um, negatively, right? This 10 of wands, right? You have to kind of be aware of those things too, right? And so with your angel of love here, we have the seven of cups and the seven of swords, okay? For your message for the month, right? For some of you here with the seven of cups, there may be a lot of things that you want, um, a lot of a lot of things <laughs> and you may even be kind of like questioning you know should I do this or should I do that or maybe even just confused about which way to go which path to take um and so it's going to be important here for you to listen to your heart right with the angel of love to get quiet and to spend some time connecting with your heart right and for some of you when you start connecting with your heart right that negative stuff may come up but don't run right <laughs> don't run from it right um because oftentimes you know when you when you begin healing right? It's the negative stuff that comes up first. And, and sometimes it can be hard and you want to run away. But as you continue, it gets a little bit lighter, right? Because you allow yourself to let go of those negative things. And once you do, the more positive things can come in. Um, but, you know, just make some, make some time to, you know, connect with your heart. And to begin with, it may be hard. It may be emotional, it may be draining even, right? So just make sure you're practicing balance, um, that um, you don't spend so much time in these feelings or in your heart, right? Dealing with any kind of negative stuff for too long, but that you, you know, balance it out with more positive things, that you spend some time going out into nature, connecting with other people, having fun, celebrating, right? But also, you know, make time to heal and to kind of let go of that kind of gunk that may still be in your heart, okay? But let's get your affirmation for the month. Excuse me. So we have, my mind is an open, empty pool. What kind of thoughts am I inviting into my mental space today? How can I facilitate relaxation today? All right. So make time for positive stuff as well. Okay, you guys. But let's see.
what would be most beneficial for you to focus on in the month of November. And then we're going to get your advice, okay? So, bottom of the deck, here we have fear, all right? And then we have faith, self-love, and boundaries, okay? So, make sure in the month of November that you're focusing on faith, right? For some of you, there may be some dreams or some goals here that you may be um, following or pursuing, right? And it's going to be important for you in the month of November to practice faith. Okay, to trust that what it is that you want to come in is going to come in, right? But also here we have self-love. So make sure that you're spending time loving on yourself, connecting to yourself, right? For a lot of you, you know, if you haven't already had your birthday, you know, happy belated birthday. Um, <laughs> if you got a birthday coming up, happy birthday. Make sure you're making some time for you. You're loving on yourself. You're celebrating yourself, okay? And then with the boundaries here, make sure that you're aware of your boundaries, right? You're keeping up them boundaries. You're not letting, you know, the negative energy or the negative thoughts or whatever it may be from other people kind of bring you down okay don't let that don't let that bring you down okay it could even be your own kind of negative thoughts or your you know these emotions that are kind of coming up for you in the month of november right just make sure that you know you kind of practice detachment right um that you're aware of these feelings but that you're not allowing them to kind of bring you down especially if you know they're associated associated with the past right you know it's good to reflect to to gain understanding and insight about yourself and about the past but don't kind of bring the past into the present right make sure you're practicing detachment um from the past but also from the negative stuff from other people from the outside world okay but let's go ahead and get your advice and then we're going to get your final message and close this reading out so what's the advice here for scorpio for the month of november We have here expression, speak your truth, gratitude, and belonging. So make sure that you're, you know, expressing yourself, you're practicing gratitude in the month of November, but also that you're making time to kind of connect with people who, you know, make you feel good, connecting with your people, okay, that you're having fun, that you're enjoying yourself. Bottom of the deck here, we have humility, bow down. <laughs> Sorry, maybe think about Beyonce, but... You know, just make sure that, you know, with this hum humility that you're not getting too, too um, high and mighty, shall I say. <laughs> um, but that you're, you know, you're aware of yourself, you're aware of others, right? That you're not kind of imposing 
on other people or even projecting your feelings or what's going on with you internally onto other people, but that you're making space for others to be themselves um, and that you're allowing yourself to kind of enjoy who you are, but also that you, you know, enjoy and allow people to be who they are, okay? But let's get your final message. So what's the final message here for Scorpio? It reads, Dearest you, selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life-giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than as an exercise of the heart. You will be surprised how quickly a generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in magical ways. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer for you. Take it and trust that you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give. All right. But that's all I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you can see more videos like this one. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.